Hey guys, hope you're doing good. In this series of videos, we are learning about Linux or Unix commands. People who are using Mac, these commands are for you as well. Now let's go ahead and see how to sort a file. To sort a file, we'll be using a command called a sort. For that, let me take a file first and show you what is there inside that. Let me take a file called as names.txt. Inside, I have an unsorted names inside, right? I have some unsorted name. It is not in order. Now, if at all, I want to sort these things in a alphabetical order, right? So let me say sort and followed by the file name. So when I say sort followed by file name, your content which is present inside the names.txt got sorted in alphabetical order. You can see that it is in alphabetical order. B fast, E, E and again, J, S and S. So your, your content which is present inside your file got sorted in alphabetical order. If at all, if at all, I want my uh, content to be sorted in reverse alphabetical order, I'll say sort hyphen R so that your data will get sorted in reverse alphabetical order. Whatever you do, whatever you do, either you sort in alphabetical order, you sort in reverse alphabetical order, your content inside the file will never get changed. It's, it just remains as it is, right? You can see Samuel, Edison, Blesson, all these things in the same order which it was there before. Even after sorting, your data is not getting modified inside your file. So the sort command helps you to take the content from the file, sort it, provide it in the sorted format. It doesn't sort that data inside the file only. It just displays. Now, let me tell you how to sort numbers. Now we have seen how to sort uh, alphabets, that's characters. Now let us see how to sort numbers. Let me take a file called this nums. Uh, I think I have it. Yes, here I have a file which has some numbers inside that. If at all I want to sort it, let me try with the normal sorting method nums.txt. You can see that it is not getting sorted. It is almost in the same way, but there are small, some small changes. You know what the sort will do? It will just check for the first character. Everything will be considered as character in uh, when I use a sort command. Now here you can see 3, 3, 4, 7, 8 and 9. So this is getting sorted based on the first character. Right. If I if I like this, even though I have numbers, right, three, four, all these are considered as characters and the character three comes first. That is before four. It doesn't take it as a whole number. It just takes the first digit of it and then started sorting it. Now you can see three, three, four, seven, eight and nine. It is starting based on the first digit. So if it is a number, if I want to sort a file which contains number, then I have to give hyphen n option. So when I say hyphen n, now your numbers are getting started, sorted in ascending order, right? So hyphen n is must whenever I'm going to sort some numbers. If at all I'm sorting characters uh, or words inside a file, no problem, I can just give sort. But when I say it is number, I need to give hyphen n. Now if I the same thing if I want to sort in descending order, yes I can do that with an R option along with that n is must because it is a number file. So if it is a normal character file, no problem I can do it with hyphen R. Since it is a number file, I want to sort it in descending order, then go for hyphen n and R together. Now you can see your content getting sorted in descending order. This is your ascending order and this is your descending order. Right. So hyphen n sorts number along with that if I give an R it sorts in descending order right by default this it sorts in ascending order. Now let us see how to sort a file which has some uh, uh, which has more than one field right? with, the, with, with the fields separated by a delimiter right if at all a file uh, has more than one field and every field is separated by a delimiter. I need to, I can sort it, but with a different option. Let us go ahead and see what is that. First, let me clear the screen for you. And here, let me say employees.txt. Now here it has one, two, three, and four fields. So every field is separated by a delimiter. Here I'm using hash. You can use any delimiter. There is no restriction that you have to use only hash or something else. You can use any delimiter as you wish. So as and when I create a file, I am just separating these fields with a hash, right? You can see hash here everywhere. Now these are your delimiters. Now these delimiters say that 
this is the first field and this is the second field this is the third field and this is the uh, fourth field right so i separate the field with the help of this delimiter now if at all i want to sort uh, the entire file this entire file need to be sorted based on some specific column for example i want to sort based on name or sort based on department or sort based on uh, salary i can do anything but it provided you give a proper delimiter in between so let me say sort to mention what kind of delimiter because there is no fixed delimiter here right so as far as uh, linux file is concerned you can give any delimiter to separate fields right you don't have any restriction so since i can give any field delimiter i have to mention what is the delimiter that i am using there with the help of the option hyphen t so hyphen t within single quotes i'll be giving the delimiter which i've used in this file and make sure that your entire file is using a same delimiter right since i said uh, don't say that okay i can use any delimiter first i'll use a hash delimiter uh, here i use a, a comma delimiter here let me use pipe symbol delimiter no not like that you can use any delimiter provided in a same file you use only the same delimiter like for in a file you always use the same delimiter don't use different different delimiters another file you want to create one more file yes there you can use a different delimiter but in one single file always use a same delimiter so that you don't get confused right okay now here i say sort followed by hyphen t option hyphen t option helps me to mention what type of delimiter that i'm using there i'm using hash is as a delimiter now if i want to sort based on name right so i want to sort based on name i'll say hyphen k that i'll be mentioning the column right this is my first column this is my second column to mention second column i'll say 2 right for delimiter i'll use hyphen t for mentioning the column i use hyphen k followed by the column number this column number is column number 2 and followed by the file name okay now when i sort it you can see it is sorted based on the name right and alphabetical order now you can see uh, if it is blessing you can see that 125 is uh, the 125 is the serial number or the employee id yeah you can see here 125 is the employee id here 125 125 if 7,000, 75,000, 75,000, admin and admin. No, it is not sorting only the second field. It is sorting the entire thing based on the second field. I, I, I repeat again, just listen. Your data will get sorted based on the second field, but it is not only the second field. The entire row is getting shifted. Now, here you can see the entire row, which is there in the third row, is getting shifted to first row because that is the... Uh, uh, that is the first in alphabetical order as for the first column right now here this is my second field yeah it's here now here you can see third field somewhere here yes it got shifted now you can see that it is taking the entire row and then shifting it is taking the entire record i can say it is not only sorting the particular field it is sorting the based on the particular field but it is sorting the entire row that is the beauty of sort command okay now here again if i say cat employee it is going to give the same thing it doesn't modify the data it doesn't modify the file right it will never modify the file so make sure that don't think that if i sorted everything will get sorted in the file no it will never sort the content in the file rather it take the content from the file sort it and display it before you that's all right now if at all i want to sort based on the salary salary is a number right so i cannot do it as it is so salary it's column three then i have to mention one more thing that's very important that is hyphen n now hyphen n means i'm going to sort a number if i don't give hyphen n it is going to sort only based on the first digit don't forget that just now we have seen before right the previous example i'd shown you if it is a number i have to give hyphen n it is must if i miss it then i am going to uh, get a wrong output because it is going to sort only based on the first digit not the entire number okay let us go ahead and see now here it is sorted right so 69000 first 75000 77000 88000 and 89000 your data the entire data is getting sorted based on the third field that is my salary this is how i do it 
Now, if at all I want to save or if I want to save my sorted records into another file, yes, it is possible. Let me tell you, right? If I want to sort my data based on the name and then store it somewhere, yes, we can go for that. I'll say sort hyphen T followed by the delimiter hyphen K followed by the field that is second field. Now, let me say greater than symbol. That's a redirection operator, right? So redirection operator always redirects your input or output. Now here I'm going to redirect my uh, output that it's going to provide. So it is a hyphen, sorry, uh, greater, one greater than symbol and followed by the file name. Let me say sorted emp.txt. Let us see cat sorted emp.txt. You got your data here with the data in sorted order based on the name. You can see here, Blessing, next Edison, Jordan, Samson, and Samuel. Your data is getting sorted based on the second field. So this is how I redirect my output, right? Which is uh, redirect my output to another file, right? So here it is getting sorted, but it just provides me the output. It doesn't store it anywhere. To store it, I redirect it with the help of one greater than symbol, right? I've already explained about redirection operator uh, in my separate video. I've given a link in the description. You can go and watch it so that you can understand what is this one greater than symbol is. Don't forget to watch that video. I've given the link in the description as well. Good. So this is how we sort data based on number or if it is based on character or if it is a record based and it has more than one field, right? So if it has a more than one field and it is separated by any delimiter, yes, I can do that with the help of hyphen T and hyphen K option. That's it guys, I'm done with this video. If you have any doubts or queries, please comment in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.